Like most online databases, the ASC Research Library now enables RSS feeds for its patrons. Uh, one simple way you can set up feeds is by going to the tables of contents for the 32 journals that are indexed in the Research Library. So in this case, basically, it's a canned search for tables of contents for that publication by title. But what's more interesting is a way to create a search and to save the search parameters as an RSS feed. So let's go ahead and type in a search term here. And you'll notice when you click Go, immediately on your results screen, you see the RSS icon. That's an actual RSS feed for the search we just did. Now, if we had done something more complex with limiters and date ranges, that would be saved as well. And you see you can save this to your feed reader in the typical way. Next, let's take a look at the TRIS online database. TRIS has similar features to the ASCE research library. We'll go ahead and type in a search term. But before we hit search, let's look up top. You notice they also have an RSS wording at the top here. And if you click on this, you can actually see canned searches and the corresponding RSS feeds either by topic, mode, function, or any of a variety of ways that researchers might want to just save an RSS feed instead of doing their own search. Let's go back and launch this search that we typed in. And again, right away you see on the search results screen the RSS feed icon. Heading back to the citation results, in the main search page we can see this hot topic section. Here they've got some canned feeds which again if you click on this it'll pull up the search results and you've got an RSS feed for essentially a canned search from here. PubMed has a similar approach in that they've got some canned searches converted to RSS right on their main screen. So in their case they've got a new and noteworthy section. But they could have other canned searches as well, such as trending topics. Let's go ahead and stick a search in here. And we will go ahead and launch the search. The results are typical to what you'd expect. Notice the RSS icon right above the search screen. We'll go into a site. It's what you would think. If we back up out of this, we can take a look at that RSS icon. And what it's doing here is giving us a couple settings that we can choose from. The number of items displayed for one, and they've got a pick list. We can change or modify the feed name if we want to. And then we simply click the Create RSS button to generate that RSS and there it is. So if we select it now we see what our results are going to look like. You could also add other limiters to that if you wanted to. In their case they've kept it pretty simple and of course clicking on one of the feed topics will take us right back into the database. Finally, let's see how CSA handles, handles RSS. Again, you notice in the upper right-hand corner, there's the XML button, but we'll go ahead and type a search in, get some results, and start from there, because that's what most patrons are going to do. Now, it's not immediately apparent here where the RSS exists. It's a little buried. Go into a citation. Again, pretty typical, what you would expect. upper right hand corner you see both that I'm authenticating as myself and the XML button. If I click on that I'm going to citations for a journal alert which is a little confusing. So that's kind of a canned RSS. 
their RSS feed for the search is located under the Alert Me option at the top of the screen. They've got a pretty sophisticated approach to their alerts, which they allow you to do as RSS or email. Again, I've already set up an account, so I'm being recognized. I have some similar options to what we saw in PubMed in that I can change my search name. I can, in this case, change the format that I want to receive the alert in, add a comment. I can change an expiration date. That's kind of a neat feature. And here we have the ability to set this as an RSS for delivery. Click on Save, and I go to a My RSS area, or a place where I can manage searches and alerts. So you see I could delete it, I could view the results, I could do all kinds of stuff here.